Hey guys, so we get to take a full look at every card in Time Spiral Remastered. Now my initial my initial expectation is this will be a very good set and I will be buying a lot of them. Um, the reason I will be buying so many is because this is what I thought Wizard of the Coast should have always done. I don't really see the point of not reprinted reprinting old boxes when there's so much expected value in them. It's very expensive if you want to do an Innistrad draft. I haven't even, I've never even looked at doing a Future Sight draft, which is Future Sight, Plane Shift, and, or not Plane Shift, Plane Art Chaos. These are very, very expensive sets in um, Time Spiral, of course. And when you're trying to do a draft with your friends, a, a box of Future Sight goes for $1,500. It's not logical for you to go out and even buy a single box of Future Sight to do a draft or to do a, a sealed event with, even if that is what you grew up with. The majority of Magic players who have money, they're not young kids, they're older people like me. And they would easily pay $200, $300 for a box of this to draft and to do sealed. Um, I, I did sealed for Time Spiral and I did it for Future Sight, of course, back in the day. And I actually have the boxes to show you. I have those boxes on my um, gaming shelf and they're full of the cards I drafted with them. And I have Future Sight boxes as well. And it's crazy to me they didn't do this earlier i've actually been a very big proponent of this they have such expensive cards and they have something they know is selling for fifteen hundred dollars a box why not just reprint it and the old frame looks really really good in fact the ponder with the old uh frame is a 25 dollar card on star city games that sold out that's how good the old frame looks like you got chalice of the void thought sees an old frame which is pretty good looking sliver legion you got uh gemstone caverns which is a very expensive card and tamagoyf is now selling for 35 dollars when they said they would push tamagoyf down to 20 dollars they're not joking i, I think tamagoyf retail so by pre-order Tamagoyf at $35 right now on Star City Games. And you have to assume you can probably find it on eBay for $20. Kiki Jiki, Damnation, uh, Leyline of the Vo Void. And all of these have the old frame if they're time shifted. So Ponder, I mean, Ponder is probably, I mean, $25 seems like a lot to me. But people might enjoy it for their legacy decks. A Chromars Memorial, Pack of Negation, Primeval Titan. These are some pretty heavy hitters. Abrupt Decays here. True, ne uh, True Name Nemesis used to be a $40, $50 card. And the Commander deck, that's pretty hilarious. And even cards in the old, like Panharmonicon on the old. So they did a good job. They look great. Um, I'm impressed by how they look, and it was as simple as giving the player something they wanted, which is the old, old frame. So you're seeing a lot of these time shifted ones, like Path to Exile. You're seeing that they go for a lot more money than the normal ones, which is not typical because these are the reprinted ones. Or Monastery Swift Spare. When you compare that, that's like a dollar two card, but in this new frame, it's like twelve bucks. And Lava Spike. These are definitely legacy playable. Eternal Witness, I really wish they had kept the OG artwork. Uh, was the OG artwork uh, Teresa Nielsen? Is that why they got rid of it? I, I, the OG artwork is beautiful, but uh, they replaced that artwork. Uh, Remand with the old fr uh, frame is sold out now in Star City Games. There's a lot of really great stuff. I always thought this was the way to do it. Um, I, I didn't understand why they did not do this sooner. Uh, the most, you know, I'm pretty excited to get the Loren reprints and the older boxes, New Phyrexia. I think I have uh, a few boxes of New Phyrexia and I don't want to open them because every time, like, it's like one of the things when you open them, you lose all the value, right? So a box of Future Sight, if you open that $1,500 box, 
maybe there's $200. I mean, probably not even. You, you would have to hit like a very chase foil. Um, and even then it would be, you know, it's kind of one of these things like, oh, you know, did you hit the right foil on common? Do you hit the right foil? Uh, it would still be very difficult for me to, and, and honestly, there's more value in this new set because of the, the time shifted cards are substantially better and like containment pre silence waste and they have the old border which is again substantially better in terms of prices so in my opinion you know what is going to go i mean the knight of the reliquary looks great that's one that's a card i collect a lot and even at six dollars i think that's not bad i mean blood braid elf looks great so what I'm saying is a lot of these time shifted cards, it should be a really fun set to open. I do remember drafting it and I do I actually did draft it maybe two, three years ago. I had time shift, I had the future site, and I had the planar chaos um, boxes upstairs. And we had a really fun night drafting it. Even I mean prices are not what it is today, but even then I just really thought it would have been better. You know, instead of buying those boxes I, and or keeping them sealed, I can draft with this box. So in my opinion, this is the way to do it because all the play, all the money is, you know, where the money is tied up to, it's pretty easy. The money is tied up to old players. The money is not tied to new players at all. The new players don't have any money because they're young. Um, they're just getting started. They're, they're not, they're not going, they don't have money. So let's just put it that way. These new players do not have money. This is nostalgic. I like it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to open some. I'm probably going to uh, buy some for the store. Um, and we'll carry this product. And I think it's a great product. Will they create more of this product? Yeah, absolutely. Like this product is going to sell really, really well. The EV is there. Because the time shifted cards, like the best example I have for you is Ponder. Ponder is a $25 card that is pre-sold out, is sold out already on Star City Games. Because of the old border. That old border makes these cards, you know, much more viable from a financial standpoint because it makes them unique. Um, and they look they look really, really good. Uh, there's Orgbog is back. You know, Orgbog is such a great land. Uh, ED8s. There's Arcanes, the I don't, I don't the Elder Dragon. Is this? It's not one of the OG Elder Dragons. It's kind of a new Elder Dragon. Uh, Magnus of the Moon, Young Pyromancer on the old. So all these staples that they have for modern or legacy staples, they will have more. They will have value. This is a pretty valuable set. I like it. Um, there's a lot to like about it, um, and. This is the way Magic the Gathering is going to go. They're going to reprint everything to the ground. So why not start now? So if you enjoy the game of Magic and you're not like, you know, invested, you know, I would I say hold these boxes and there's nothing stopping them from reprinting these boxes, right? They already have the template. It's literally a dude pressing a button and then paying like one cent a card. So I don't know if these are like investable in terms of long-term investments. What I do know is, hey, it's a good time to collect some of these. Uh, I've always, uh, Sarah's Avenger is a beautiful card. And I've been collecting that card for a long time. So the collector in me really, really likes the set. I like the old frame. I like the Dryad Arbor. You know, I, I like collecting like a few hundred copies of these. Not because I think they will go up. But because like Knight of the Reliquary, I have a few dozen, if not close to a hundred copies of that. And you know, hey, it's it's a great set. I I think it, overall the value's there. A lot of the lower, I mean, your time shifted card per pack is where you're going to get. I mean, a lot of value. Now, yes, this isn't a regular booster pack worth of money. This is substantially more expensive. In fact, let me check what Amazon it is right now but overall it's a great set uh, i think it's great so amazon has it for 1999 so 200 bucks and you get 36 packs it also has a free booster pack draft pack which gives you for 15 dollars pre-order guaranteed so it was looking at five dollars a pack 
So the draft pack a better price than the boost packs. No, 115. No, 180. Okay. Yeah, so the draft pack is on Amazon right now, $5 a pack, and it is cheaper. Pre-order guarantee. But you probably, is there like a box topper or something? Is that what the Delta is? Let me see if there's a box topper when you click Amazon. One card with retro magic frame in every pack. Da, 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 da. No, I don't think there's a box topper. So I don't know why the booster box is more expensive than the draft pack. Overall, I mean, if this is what Amazon is selling it for, I'm sure there's people on eBay selling it for less. So this is always what I dreamed about as a Magic player. So the speculator in me hates the set. But I have given up speculating on modern or reprintable cards. So even though I do obviously have a lot of this, these cards, as would most Magic players of any type of modern deck, these are pretty, there's a lot of modern staples and a lot of EDH cards in this set. Um, I'm overall very, very happy with the way that it's going to go as a player. I'm elated because that means I might see, you know, how awesome would it be to draft Innistrad, original Innistrad again? Uh, that was one of my favorite draft sets or Ravnica. I'm very surprised they didn't do Ravnica first because, you know, that's kind of a safer type of deal because everyone likes Ravnica. You can do Ravnica 8 million times. I'm talking about original Ravnica, Descensions. That would be really fun. That's when I had, that's when I was uh, at NYU my freshman year and I had um, people on my same floor who played Magic. And that was a fun time. I mean, the draft sets that I would love to see um, are the ones I grew up with as a kid. Um, obviously, you know, you, you, I, I'm assuming that you're not going to be able to reprint reserve list cards on this, but I don't see why they cannot reprint. So let's say they do revise, they do, um, revised and Arabian Nights and, um, Legends and all these sets, right? And they just reprint cards not on the reserve list which is already something they've done you look at Caracas you look at Sylvan Library from Legends originally from Legends um, they know that even non-reserve list cards in these old sets are quite expensive so I could see them printing sets like revised and they just wouldn't print the reserve list cards um, so as a player yeah this is a, probably one of the best sets and this is something that I've been asking for for a very long time so I'm happy they delivered on it Really great set, great value, nothing to complain about. Hi guys.